took an impromptu trip to Arkansas this weekend. One of the coolest things about having a camper is that if you decide you want to leave at 4 o'clock on a Friday, you can be in the camper and ready to go at 6 o'clock. That's what we did this weekend when we went to Devil's Den State Park. It was a campground that we've been to several times hiking, but we decided to camp there for the first time. One of the first hikes we did is um, up toward the entrance of the park, and it's called Moonshiner's Cave. This one's really easy to miss. It's the right as soon as you get past the opening sign on the right, immediately past that. On the left, you're going to have a parking lot. You're going to walk from your car about 100 yards, and then there's just an opening in the woods on the left. There's no sign or anything. It's only 0.8 miles. It goes downhill and then way back, straight uphill. But it leaves this cool cave that some say may have been from Moonshiners. Others just say it was a vegetable cellar from some homesteading family. But because of all the rain lately, there was a nice little waterfall coming off the side of the cave. We really enjoyed this hike. After we hiked around there, we spent the rest of the afternoon at the campground. And the way this campground, we stayed at Campground E, and the way it's set up is a large U-shape of campers. And then out behind all the campers was a big field where the kids could play in very end of the campsite is a trailhead and there's whispering something or other trail then the lake trail and the lake trail actually connects to the rest of the trail system and most of the rest of the important trails of Devil's Den State Park so uh, if it's busy like it was on that Saturday you're not going to find a parking space at the visitor center but if you can get to the campground you can still access the Devil's Den Trail and the Yellow Rock I absolutely love trying uh, finding campgrounds that have trailheads that we can walk to without the extra drive and park because anywhere that we were on this trail we didn't take as many things because we could have relatively easily turned around and walked back to the camper if we left something behind or needed to do something or grab a snack or a diaper. You can tell Devil's Den State Park, besides all just the incredible nature, they set it up kind of like Pet and John, uh, in that a lot of money, a lot of resources went into making it just fantastic. There were cabins everywhere, uh, the tent sites were great, the camper sites all had full of hookups. Um, and they had a pool, they had a hot tub, they had a camp store, they had a visitor center. All in all, a very nice camp. Yeah, you, uh, this weekend was the campground wasn't completely full, but there were a lot of families there, and, and it's a very friend, family-friendly environment, and almost every family had dogs they brought with them along with us. The namesake of Devil's Den State Park is this trail that we're on, uh, Devil's Den Trail, where there's a lot of neat rock formations, collapsed caves, and the Devil's Icebox, the Devil's Den, and Twin Falls. Twin Falls in particular because of all the rain was flowing really heavily. We also saw several bats and they have uh, shirts and signs everywhere about the bats and information about the different species that you can find in the park that fly in and out of uh, Devil's Den Cave. And they, at one time the cave was open for people to go explore but it's um, since been closed but they still do um, informative talks and have all kinds of information about the bats that you can find and see in the park. All in all, it was a great weekend. We The last day we hiked, we're, we're hiking right in this picture, it was raining, which made for a lot fewer people on the trail and it wasn't too much of a downpour, but beautiful weekend, fantastic weekend, it was nice to do something so spur of the moment. It was a lot of fun. We really like Devil's Den State Park. It's one of our favorite places in Arkansas.